Hi, I'm Lottie. I'm a researcher at the Breast Translational Research Team here at Imperial College. And I'm here to talk to you today about what makes good science communication great and why it's important. So what is science communication? It does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it's the methods by which we communicate our scientific ideas, whether you're interacting with other researchers, your patients or members of the public, we are always communicating our science. So why is it important? Well, for three main reasons, really. First is it really helps to enhance collaboration with other researchers across disciplines. Second of all, it's fantastic for engaging the public and garnering their support for your area of research. And third, you're in a fantastic position to inspire future generations of scientists. So here are my top five tips for how to make a good poster great. Number one, what is the story? Try to think of the one take home message you want your audience to get from your poster. Can you sum it up in one sentence? Then design your poster around this idea. And don't forget that if anything extra seems important, you can always discuss this with people on the day. Number two, avoid the jargon. Don't forget that most people approaching your poster, be they members of the committee who include patients and other researchers from across disciplines, will not understand your subject area quite as well as you do. So keep jargon to a minimum, but preferably where possible, eliminate it completely. Try to think of if you were training someone in your field of research, how would you explain this concept to them and keep your language as simple as possible. Number three, less is more. Think of the last poster presentation you went to. Which poster really caught your eye? Chances are it wasn't overcrowded and had lots of white spaces around the text and images. People don't tend to read everything that's on a poster, so keep any text you do include to a minimum and keep it brief and to the point. And don't forget the old cliche, a picture says a thousand words. Number four, get creative. Remember a really well designed poster is going to attract more of your audience. So try to have a think about the composition beforehand. You can focus on the colour, the font and the layout. Colour, try not to include too many colours, try to stick to just a few. Have a look online to see what inspires you with colour combinations, but perhaps choosing one or two from your main images and then highlighting those is a good start. With font, don't forget a sans serif font is much easier to read, as is a darker font on a lighter background. When it comes to layout, try not to be too prescriptive. Really have fun, move the images and text around to see what works best for you and check out these videos in the links below for inspiration on great design. Number five, last but actually most important, have fun. Remember what it is about your subject that you love, what made you really want to study this. Don't forget if the audience can see you having fun with this, they'll really want to engage in your research. Really let your passion for the subject shine through. So in summary, here are my top five tips. Number one, what is the story? Number two, avoid jargon. Number three, less is more. Number four, get creative. And number five, have fun. Good luck, I can't wait to see all of your posters.